All right, good morning, you guys. Hope you have a fantastic day. I want to start today's video with an update on Miley, and the update is there's no update. I promise you guys, as soon as I know anything at all, the arrival date, where they're at right now, I'll relate it to you guys, but I, I have nothing, so we are just waiting. I think people think I'm like trying to like hide it from you guys. I'm not. As soon as I hear of literally anything, you guys will be the first to know, I promise. Today we're heading back to the junkyard, snagging a few more pieces off the Mark III GTI we saw last time. I also want a steering wheel for this car, and then maybe whatever else we can find. Junkyard's kind of hit and miss. Um, it'd be cool to find another huge score, but you never know what's gonna be there. My little Turkish green golfs the voice. Still chilling out here. So come the first of next month, we're putting a bid on this thing and hopefully we win. I'm sure we will, but this will probably be the new daily and I'm pretty excited about it. Found us a super mint three-spoke steering wheel. Also, this car has really, really nice interior as well, like super bolstered seats. This is actually a TDI uh, four motion right here on the badge. TDI four motion. It's a shame they junked it. But nice wheel, really, really nice interior. I might steal these seats. Nice wheels and tires. It also has a R32 from my bonnet. Full R32 front bumper, whether it's aftermarket or not, I don't know. But it does have the headlight washers as well. So it may be a, a real bumper. Not bad. Been removed, but the problem is, um, this so all the videos i watched had a 24 millimeter nut in the center holding it on like most Volkswagens. this one has like a triple square and these are normally phillips heads and right now i have like star bits so i don't even have this with me right now to pull this off but it's very weird that it has this setup versus all the videos i watched i'm gonna try and find another nice steering wheel in another car and hopefully it has the 24 millimeter nut and the Phillips had screws. Otherwise, I'm kind of screwed because I didn't bring it with me. I could go home and get it, but I wasn't prepared for that. All right, I found another three-spoke steering wheel in this uh, Passat 1.8 Turbo. And yet again, we have the same triple square bit in the center. That's irritating. Why do none of you have normal, normal nuts on you? Okay, let's try and find another one. So unfortunately, no luck. Every single Mark IV uh, Golf or Jetta or Passat here all has the same triple square um, socket in the center versus having a 24mm uh, nut. So I can't pull any of them off, which really sucks. But I got a few other couple of things, which is cool. But still, I wanted a steering wheel, but now I know. So far, we have a, this is a Polo 86C. So it's a Polo Coupe. The inner grille, glass headlights, and I have the corners too. Pretty cool stuff. Last thing to grab, we're gonna grab the grill off the GTI, the front bumper and the rear bumper. I think that's pretty much it. This headlight here has a crack at the bottom, so I'm probably gonna pass on that, but still, just about done with this car. Front bumper is now off, complete with the really nice hella glass fog lights here and there, and there's the turn, that kind of stuff. Has lower grills, all the lower fins are on it. It's gonna need a little bit of a sanding and be repainted, obviously, but the texture portion is good condition. That's the important part. This is all in good condition, which is awesome. Um, got the grill off as well. I think I'm also gonna go ahead and pull um, the headlights, even though this one has a small crack at the bottom. You can probably glue it up and fix it. It's not that big of a deal. And it's not really too noticeable. And these ones have the um, the adjustable headlights that go up and down. So these are actually pretty cool in their glass. So super nice headlights. And then if anyone wants this Euro rat support, I can snag that. Also the Euro rebar you will need a euro rebar to fit a euro bumper i repeat you need a euro rebar to fit a euro bumper whether it's a golf bumper a vento bumper if you don't have this the american one is bigger on the sides and this bumper will not fit unless you cut yours so i repeat again you need a euro rebar to fit a euro bumper okay okay rear bumper is now off along with the rear rebar i'm going to pull the the front rebar off as well and I also grab this. This is the metal 2.0 uh, valve cover. I can't verify that it fits the American version 2.0, but it may. Either way, it still looks pretty cool. I also grabbed another gas door here. All the nice fancy stickers. I might put these on my car, honestly, because like the stickers just look so cool. And it's a nice fancy silver one. A little bit of a scuff on it, but not bad. We are just about done. Front and rear rebars. Nokia sub from the rear. All these parts. This car is pretty much stripped bare. Like I said, if someone wants this, you're a rat support. 
I can snag it for you, um, but just not playing today. All right, I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty. It's time to get out of here. I'll see you guys back at home. Definitely an awesome score for the day, and I have to fit all of this in the green car. It's doable. It should be doable. It better be doable. All right, here we go. And just like that, everything fits in a golf. Easy work. Easy work. All right, it's go home time. And to prove how thirsty I am, this is Diet Coke. I hate Diet Coke. Ugh. Let's go home. I found a Vento. You never see Ventos here, like hardly ever. It feels so good to be home. I'm gonna go have lunch real quick, have something to drink, chill out for just a minute, then we'll come back, pull us out of the car, and I'm gonna get a bunch of product shots done, and it's clean it up, it's all very dirty. So, wash everything, product shots, and then whoever wants it, can have it. It is time for us to give all this stuff a nice little bath. This grill here actually has a little bit of rust pitting. Once you sand it down and repaint it, you wouldn't notice it at all. But the good thing about it is though, every single tab is intact, which is very rare for these grills. All the bottom tabs are good, all the top tabs are good. Every single tab is perfect, which is super surprising. This is the grill off the um, the Polo Coupe. There is the Euro rebar for the rear and one for the front. I grabbed the Nokia sub. Unfortunately, the Nokia actual radio portion, the top section, um, was gone, so I couldn't grab that, but I got this. The headlights, the headlights off the Polo. There's a crack on this one. But they're still pretty cool. They say hella right there and they're glass. So I'm sure that can help somebody out. I'm sure someone needs replacement glass for their polo. I'm sure there's not that many of these left. Obviously, the gas store here. We grabbed the 2.0 uh, intake manifold cover here. It's actually pretty cool. Not, sorry, the valve cover there. Cool stuff. Definitely a cool find. I'm gonna wash everything real quick, make it all nice and new, and then do some product shots. Ladies and gentlemen, I just got absolutely Amazing news. At the beginning of this video, I said we had no Miley updates, but now we have our first official update. The latest date that Miley will be here is September 11th. So that means she might be here sooner. They told us three months, three months minimum for all of our garage stuff, our household stuff, and all that stuff came in in about a month and a half or so. So fingers crossed. Miley's here as soon as September 11th, but even then, that's still under two months away. Like a month and a half, give or take, but like that's still super, super close. So we may see Miley before September. It's July 15th right now. Um, so just fingers crossed, she's on her way. This is the first official update for you guys. Like I said, um, as soon as I knew anything at all, I was going to pass it on to you, and this is the first update that I've got. So I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. We're close. We are super Super close, literally under two months away, and she could be here hopefully sooner than that because all of our other stuff came in so much faster. So I'm hoping the same happens, but fingers crossed, she's on her way. She's on her way, she's on her way. Everyone just stay calm. Miley will be in, Ger in Germany soon enough. We have VR6 sounds and just, oh, I miss my car. I miss my car. So very soon, Miley's gonna be here. Okay, back to cleaning parts, but I wanna stop real quick, give you guys the update, give you guys the good news. I'm so excited. After a quick little bath, everything's looking much, much better now. Like I said, on these front bumpers with the texture and the back one as well, all you need to do is trim paint this and you're good to go. The red line on the rear is nice and red. On the front, it is a bit faded, but you could redo that red line pretty easily. So like this bumper here, a nice can of trim paint, fix this, a new red stripe, and you are literally set. There's a little bit of work to do over here uh, to sand it smooth and you're pretty much good to go. But overall, the condition of the bumper is pretty good and the rear bumper is very very mint there's almost nothing wrong honestly at all the rear bumper is pretty much good to go like i said if you wanted these bottom lips to not be silver anymore that lip pops off trim paint it black to match the top and you're good to go but really nice set of gti bumpers and then again rebar you have to have the euro rebar to run euro bumpers or if you just ran no rebar which i don't recommend because someone hits you it's gonna go straight in the back of your car so I don't recommend that. The back bumper are the Mark 3s. You can cut to fit the Euro bumper. I have a video somewhere. It's a bit of a pain, but it can be done. 
Uh, the front you can cut as well, but again, it's such a pain to try and cut all that stuff. It's easier just to have the real deal, and then it just fits with this, and you're good to go. And then grill and grill, and obviously the headlights over there. But good find. Good, good find. All right, we're gonna call it a day at that. Make sure if you're not following me on Instagram, it's right here on the screen. If you wanna get a jump on any of these parts that'll be for sale, um, that's the place to be. I always post parts on there for sale. So if you want something, that is the place to be. You'll see it there first. Um, also, we have our first Miley update. September 11th is the uh, latest date she'll be there. So fingers crossed she's here before that. Like I said, all of our um, household goods and our garage stuff, that stuff was told to be here in three or so months. And it took about a month, a little over a month. So. Fingers crossed, my as fast as that, and I, I just hope she is. I cannot wait to have that car here. I am so excited to have my car back. I miss having VR6 things. I just miss Miley in general. So hopefully she's here very, very soon. As always, don't forget, be thankful for today. We'll see you next time. Peace.